Judith's owner was a man named Victor, a dark and conniving soul who reveled in the power he held over his loyal companion. He found perverse pleasure in making Judith suffer. To feel dominant and powerful, he would chain her to a rusted, old post in his backyard and leave her there, exposed to the elements, without food or water for days on end. In the frigid winters, Judith shivered in the cold, longing for a blanket to wrap herself in. She yearned for toys to chase and bones to chew on, but her world was devoid of any such luxuries. For an excruciating decade, the neighbors watched in silence as Victor tormented his poor dog. They couldn't bear the sight of Judith's suffering, but fear of getting in trouble or being labeled as thieves kept them from intervening. They closed their curtains and turned a blind eye to the injustice that unfolded right before them. Every bark for help, every whimper of despair, went unanswered. But Judith's fate was about to change. There was one neighbor, Sarah, who could no longer tolerate the torment. She couldn't look away any longer. She had seen enough of Judith's suffering, and her heart ached every time she glanced out of her window and saw the forlorn dog chained in the yard. She gathered her courage and reached out to a local animal rescue organization, explaining the dire situation. The rescuers arrived at Victor's house. The scene was even more horrifying than they had imagined. Judith lay in a pit of icy mud, her once golden fur matted and filthy. She was emaciated, dehydrated, and unable to walk. The rescuers approached the trembling dog, their hearts aching with empathy. With gentle hands, they removed the heavy chains from Judith's neck, freeing her from her tormentor's grasp. Victor, realizing his evil deeds had been exposed, made a hasty escape, vanishing into the shadows. The days that followed were filled with love and care for Judith. She was given nourishing food and fresh water, a warm bed to sleep on, and the toys she had longed for all her life. Slowly but surely, the light returned to her eyes, and her spirit began to soar. Neighbors who had once turned a blind eye to her suffering now rallied together to support her recovery and find her a forever home. Judith found a family that cherished her, a family that understood the true meaning of loyalty and compassion.